Here we go. Cass is here. Cass, turn off your camera. Turn, turn off your camera, camera Cass. What? Look at that handsome gentleman. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Oh, God. So, in typical That's fashion, in typical fashion of how we do this, uh, we're going to have to introduce ourselves just because, you know, why the hell not? Um, I'm Blobby Gobster. I'm the host of this mess. We have Aiden Kenway. What's uh, popping? <laughs> we have Athens that, that's all they came to mind. Hey, what's up? <laughs> we have Assassin's Car Assassin Cardinal. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, mess up my name. I thought we had something. <laughs> and then we have. I we had Tahiti. And then, and then we have Castillo. I'm fucking tired of shit. <laughs> so, so, uh, so you're well, well, eating. Well, God. well, I so, mean, well, well, Carter, before we even continue on with that, um, Lobby. no, no, I, no, I, I, I wanted to ask, what, what was your, what's your general plan for what we're going to talk about, like just in general, like really well, quick fire topics. Well, <laughs> first, because of what happened last time. Cash didn't get the f get to do his whole rant on Ezio, and he wanted to rant about Ezio. Plus, we have Aiden here now, who can also give a rant <laughs> yeah. if he wants to. So those two can go ahead and have at it if they feel like it. So, what 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 else though? Is there anything else? Or do you um, I, got, I, I mean, got I got some I got some stories from the past from because, uh, because, young Captain. Oh boy. Because I mean, here's what I want oh here's what I want you to do, Bob. I want you to take all those ideas. Okay. And shove them up your ass because there's something very important we have to talk about right now. There's fucking Connor's daughter. No, this is important AC news. Fuck you. We need to talk about oh, this yeah. right now because it's fucking adorable and I love it. Wait, wait. Connor has a daughter? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's, literally uh, I... just, it's literally just him in the woods having a fun, cute time with his daughter. Yone. Yone. And it's fucking cute. And I love it. And it makes me happy because they finally did something right with Connor. They get, they stopped torturing him and torturing his fans, and they gave him a cute moment. Breathe. Okay, go. I, I think I think um he actually has three kids. In he total. has three kids. That's even better. Uh, yeah. Her name. But only her name, that girl. Her name the means rainbow because it's like, it's like a metaphor. It's like her. It's it's her his rainbow after his shitty storm of a life. It's so fucking cute. I love it. <laughs> it makes my heart hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <That's me. laughs> All right, so um, uh, Mama Car is done right now. Um, uh, Aiden, yeah. would you like to proceed with your rant? Or Cas that was Castillo, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. PG-13, guys, please. Cass? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm right now. I'm not... Cass, stop yeah, playing video games and talking about video games. <laughs> We're talking about video games right now, bro. Get off your video games. <laughs> <laughs> My microphone automatically just increased. That's that's dumb. It's fine. We can hear you fine. Perfectly. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about the call right now. I'm talking about Audacity, which is recording my voice so that people could actually hear me. Because there's a lot that goes into this, what, what, and you what? don't understand me. What? Why? Why? Wait, have you have you considered? Have you considered it, taking Jerusalem? Good. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> we shall take Jerusalem. Deus vote. Deus vote. Deus vote. Deus vote. What have I walked into? That that that's how I respect women. You walked welcome into the, the count. You have walked You're into welcome. the council, the Assassin's Creed Amino official podcast, hosted by me, Bobby Gobster, along with Assassin Cardinal and a bunch of other people. <laughs> Just goes through, goes through the I entire mean... intro all, all over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So have we right. talked about Connor's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> oh shit! Can we do it again? <laughs> At the end, they die. <laughs> oh, oh god but i mean in the end, all of us died. spoiler spoiler i didn't know i was gonna die one day jesus <laughs> <laughs> all right Cass, let's get through your rant first stop yes. playing video games <laughs> wow Cass. that is such a tone. such moving words Cass. Uh. Cass, yes. my friend, my friend Cowgirl was getting very excited to hear you rant about Ezio. You gotta fucking do it for her. 
Do it for the vine. Okay, I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, okay, we all know Ezio is a great character, sure. Yes. But yeah. he is a little overrated. Well, a little too overrated. He is he, overrated. It, it is. It is obvious that he's been kind of the the milk of the Assassin's Creed series. The face and, too, like God. Um, that milk has been. I mean, that cow has been milked like crazy, of course, because first we had the three games. Yes. And then we had these, this um, trilogy again, remastered edition, right? Oh, yeah. Which is pretty much um, higher brightness and... The same shit. Um, the same, it's pretty much the same shit. The audio sounds the same. And, <laughs> <laughs> and still, people spent $60 on that. Like, holy fuck. Like... I, I, you can get the whole thing for twenty dollars in PS3 in any store, pretty much. The best thing That's in what the I Brotherhood did. was Cesare. Okay, I'll I'll admit Brotherhood's lit. I, I like Brotherhood, Brotherhood was pretty lit. But the real deal yeah. is actually at Revelations. Like, let me let me explain what's going on. First of yeah. all, AC2, right? We see Ezio as this young fuckboy, and well, not fuck. Well, yeah, I think he was a fuckboy, and then. And then he starts to go through trauma, his family dies, he has to flee his hometown, he gets revenge on the people who killed his family. And then in AC Brotherhood, he starts to build up the Brotherhood, yet he's still immature and doesn't really know what the fuck to do, even though he's, you know, he's like the mentor of the Brotherhood, apparently. And then finally, he finally realizes his place in the Brotherhood in Revelations, when he's like... 50 years of age, 50, 60 years of... No, it was, like, a little younger than that. A little bit younger. Like, 10 years... 10 years before 10 or something. I don't know. But, like, at least 40 or 50 years old. He was, like, during that time. He was, like, 50-something. And he finally realizes his place in the Brotherhood and what he has to do. Like, only then he starts to mature and realize, shit, I've been doing this all wrong. I gotta do this now. I gotta do this now. I gotta, I gotta sh- actually do what the Brotherhood's supposed to be, and it's not about revenge. It's not about this. It's about following the tenets and about you know, you know, helping the cause of the assassins, not just you know, money, uh, women, and. See, I, I, you know. I, I had the, I thought it was the opposite situation. I yeah, thought, no, like, no, but actually, um, sorry to interrupt, but this, this should be no, called resume by a Romanian. Like his point of view, <laughs> the entire thing is too. Um, it's like a whole speech. <laughs> yeah, but I I thought it was the opposite. I thought I loved those first couple sequences in AC two because it's such a human thing. Like I like that for like I feel like it's all summed up. Like after all that trauma he went through, after all like the confusion, and he's leading Claudia and his mother out of the city for that first time, and she's like talking to him and she, he's asking all these questions. Like, are we ever gonna be able to go back? I don't know. Are yeah, we ever... yeah. And and, and, it, and and he's like, I don't know. And it all adds and, and up. Then he gets to, and all well, then he gets to Monteregione. Yeah. He meets and his, his uncle. uncle starts <laughs> his uncle starts like teaching him about the brotherhood, but it's he's like, No, my responsibility is to my family right now. I just want them to be in a safe place. Yeah. And you go through the training, he's teaching him about the brotherhood. And then at that final se- at that final part, he's Mario comes in and is like, Will you join us now? No, I still want to get my family safe. Like and Mario goes on a five second rant. <laughs> And then, literally five seconds. How how dare you? Blah blah blah. Your father will be disappointed. And then he storms off. And then Ezio automatically just switches to an instant hero. He goes, "Oh yeah, let's go stab Vieri and everyone else. Fuck my family. They can just stay that, here." That, yeah, that's exactly and then he, why. Like, and then he's just too like a, a much of a Mary Sue. Like he's just instantly an assassin. He's instantly following the creed. He's yeah, instantly... like that's what I don't get. Because okay, I get maybe he knows how to fist fight because we've seen that in a few sequences before his family dies. Yeah, he got he's like in some yeah. gang or something. Okay, I get he can fight, but he can't yeah. just be so quickly trained into an assassin. That will take right. years of practice. Like look at look at Arnold for instance. Look at Arnold for instance. Well, okay, uh, let me finish real quick. Look at okay. Honor, for instance, okay? Like, look at Unity. Unity, okay? Yeah. Okay, so here's what happens to Arna. Arna's father gets assassinated by Shade, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Arna doesn't know that, and he's going through this trauma, like, I lost my father, 
shit, and now he's going to get raised by a Templar, but he doesn't know he's a Templar, or, well, he's not aware of it. And yeah, no over the years, he's like, apparently, okay, here's, here's the thing about history, all right? Yeah. France is known to have the best swordsmanship ever, like, dude. <laughs> like, like, dude, honest to God, those guys can, like, tear you a new one, just the yeah. rapier. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Oh, so, well, yeah. Go on. So apparently Arno, like Arno had to go through years of training, like with swordsmanship. Okay. He's not instantly an assassin yet. Okay. Right. Like, yeah. like for, for Arno, he had to go through, uh, so much more. He had to do work. He had to, you know, he, pra he practiced well, as well. It, it, it's funny you say it cause they're in the, in the unity novel. Um, it actually talks about how Elias got her training from like a family friend. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it, she actually talks about how. Oh, well, actually, no, Arno is the one who's talking about how every time they, like, play fighted, like, with, like, the wooden swords, they would, like, as kids, she would kick his sorry ass, and he was <laughs> amazed by it. <laughs> it's, amazing. it's so cute. Oh, my God. I actually do love Unity a lot, actually. That's, like, I, I played all the yeah. games, and then I see that Unity got, like, this in extreme hate. Yeah. And, you know, at first I saw, like, okay, there's a few glitches here and there. But after a yeah. few updates, the game was running perfectly fine, and people apparently, were playing. Apparently, apparently, Unity is like the only game where I can accept the glitches because sometimes they're pretty funny, like really funny, I and pretty, and, I and it can and it can actually benefit you in some ways. Like one time, uh, one me time. me and Aiden we were like playing co-op together, you know, some time ago, and like apparently, like the game glitched a little bit, and we never got like detected ever, and we kept like chain killing the guards with like our hidden blades and like. We group them up together. We never get caught. We like just go in and all ham and just like kill all of them. <laughs> you know, chain really, killing. I really got a right. PlayStation Plus so I can make videos with you guys. <laughs> Dude, you all gotta right. do that. Back to the first. Okay, back to the subject. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um. What we mean is, yeah, that Arno had he had training with his sword and um his uh, well, of course, with fencing, of course, and um. Right. He but. Of course, when he joined the Brotherhood, he had to learn, uh, like what stealth was, uh, hidden blade. And yeah. Yeah. I think, parkour. Yeah, parkour, pretty much, because he already knew how to. He, he, he also but... he and also let's not forget when he was in the prison, uh, Balek was in there. He was an assassin as well. They like yeah. trained yeah. in there as well, you know, before they escaped. So I'm yeah. feeling he, plus, Arno picked up when... some of. Yeah. Plus, when you're in the midst of the French Revolution, you kind of got to learn how to survive fast. Or you got to learn. You got to learn how to survive yeah. quickly before you get your head chopped off. Yeah. What I like about Unity 2 is that, like, you can see the entire... Tra you, you, you are the entire transition of how he becomes a master assassin at the very yeah. end. Like, he goes through everything. He, he did a lot of shit to, you know, rank up up there. The, the council yeah. pissed me off, though. Like, yeah, the, the council is so I, dumb. I, I, that's yes, the dumb. Shit. That's the worst that's, that's thing the, that could have ever happened. That is so. That one. is such a dumb thing. That is. No, I agree. <laughs> I, that's the that's the one part of Unity that pissed me off was the council characters. The, the council. I. Can, I, I Jesus. The, I. How, did, how, how dare you kill, How dare you kill the super important Templar that would have stopped all of our plans? You didn't ask permission. You bastard. Hey guys, in guess, a way. No guys, guess hey guys, what? Guess I what? I I hey I guys, guess what? I assassinated a traitor. Oh no, that's not good. What? What do you mean? He killed. He killed one of the council members. What the fuck are you talking about? No, no. no. Hey, hey guys, I know where Jermaine is hiding. I know what he's planning. I can go out there and stop him. I just need a few guys to help me back it up. How dare you? You already told you not to go there. Did you not hear me, bitch? I know where the Grand Master is, and I know how to stop him. Oh, that's you didn't ask permission, but you're banished from the Brotherhood. Oh, okay. Bullshit. Yeah, that's the thing. That's um, bullshit. Um, yeah. I can I can understand them though. Like I, I know it was bullshit and all, but I can understand where they're coming from, of course, because they need to take precautions. They rebuilt themselves. Well, yeah, but nothing. you're in the midst of the French Revolution, and Arnold yeah, literally comes true. to them and sa and says, "Hey, I know where the guy responsible for all of this is. I know what he's planning to do. I know how to stop him. I just need a little help to do that." Yeah. <laughs> and they and then they kick him out. But but Carter, there wouldn't be a plot. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is, the thing is though, um, of course they wanted our. This is what I like a lot about Arno. He he's not a person to follow orders. That that's something he. Says. Oh yeah, Arno Arno is amazing. Yeah, um, the council that council. Yeah, I love Arno. 
yeah. Uh, the thing is, um, I guess they were really pissed off at him because he just, by example, if he got a crack, he followed it before it got cold, you know? Mm-hmm. And that, yeah. that was, instead instead of, like, actually reporting it, I, and I understand why he didn't like, report I, I, I see it. What they were, I see what they were trying to do, but I felt like it could have been written a little bit better. Like, it could have been handled a bit better, you know? This is yeah. why assassins yeah. should not play politics. But, <laughs> but of course, yeah, true. No, that's true. But, yeah, of course, it's gonna... It's kind of... They're really strict on their shit. And, of course, that strictness and shit is what shows that the Brotherhood is too easily corrupted. That's what happens with Belek. Yeah. And that's what I loved about Unity, that you get to see that, okay, Templars aren't the fucked up ones, but then they, you know, because of the backslash, they're like, oh, fuck, apparently they want Templars to be bad. But we had Rogue for that. Let's go to London. Let's go to London. Let's let's make that, though. Oh yeah, Rogue. Actually, no. Here's here's the thing. Rogue wait, 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 too. wait, 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 wait. Before we go in any further, just so yeah. you know, Father of Understanding did j- join in, but his mic. Oh, he did. In. Oh, he did. Is he here? Are you? Oh yeah, there he is. I see right, him. Bye-bye. I think. All right. <laughs> um. Yeah, but what Carter yeah, was Bobby. saying. Um. <laughs> that's why we had Rogue, right? Yeah. But, yeah, Rogue, um, which came out the exact same day. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, yeah, I'm actually thank- that- I'm actually thankful for Rogue, even though it was a short game. I'm actually thankful for it because I could actually see the Templars' point of view as well. Now, I well, admit, thing, I ha- I hate the Templars no matter what with a burning passion. Even Elise, like, no. I, I I love Elise as a character, but I still hate her order. I, yeah, I'm, a pure, thing- I'm a pure-blooded assassin by every means, but but it was still a fun game. It's still a good story. So like. The only time, the only time I would side with the Templars, like, don't get me wrong, the Templars, okay, uh, the, to be honest, the original Templars, like the Crusaders, I get what they're trying to do, they're trying to prevent, you know, the Arabs from going into Europe and shit like that, okay, that I understand, now, there were some bad wrong. Templars, there were some, <laughs> there's some, Crusaders. there were some bad Templars back, uh, back then too, though, like, they would, like, rape uh, women, they would, like, you know, do that shit and like that that's just fucked up yeah, and then find as, america and not tell anybody about it, you know find yeah and then as time progressed on instead of this order of like trying to con- maintain peace it suddenly got corrupted all of a sudden and they wanted like power like they wanted they wanted world domination like they wanted a new world order you know they wanted world domination since kane <laughs> yeah and they've literally wanted world domination for seventy five th- for yeah for seventy five thousand years. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 No, <laughs> as I was saying. Um. Um. Yeah. So we get to see the point of view in Rogue, but also in AC three. So we have these three games that are kind of showing us, you know, the both sides. Like, what are the plays and why? What are the rights? What are the wrongs? And I really enjoy that because we get to see a lot of the story. Like we we get to know, okay, this is where the right, this is where the wrong. But I don't know what happened that in AC Syndicate they just went, you know what? Let's do two retards in London, and let's like, put them. In- <laughs> <laughs> we had okay, we had this rant on the last podcast. Don't make me fucking hate on Syndicate again. We can't oh have God. we can't Syndicate have every single garbage, episode. By the way, never get it. Let's please yeah, not okay. do that. Let's just make back this whole series like you guys attempting to trigger me with syndicate bullshit. <laughs> okay, all right. Back, all Every right. single episode right. is just the same exact <laughs> rant with a different... Here's one, here's one thing to know. Don't play syndicate. How about that? Yeah. Th- yeah, we, we can agree okay. on that. So back to the point I was thinking about. Ezio at the base, right? Is that <laughs> yeah. I, think I, can, I think I can say something. My now. God. Okay. Were we talking okay. about Assassin's Creed? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, no, but I'm, I'm trying to, like, make everything make sense now at the end. Now yeah. that I explained all this, Aiden, we are Aiden. seeing... I can say yes? something now. Okay, you can say Wow, something. Castillo, what's up? <laughs> okay. The reason yeah, why I think right. is overrated. Why? He's a very good example of a Mary Sue character, like Carter said. His family strategy aside. Yeah. Until Revelations. Yeah, Revelations just like, it's Yo. normal, it's fine. I love that. He was always born, like, knowing all these stuff. Once you put on the robes, he's instantly master assassin and all that. It's bullshit. At least in the other games, he had some sort of character development. Like, More training. Like, 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 like,
really. What did he learn in Brooklyn? What, what did he? Nothing. He, no, nothing exactly. he didn't already know. He <gasps> was exactly. the, which is my second. Point. Second, the guys. second he goes to kill Vieri, he is guys. the mentor. Even without the title, he's just the the instant wise old man that knows everything. I'm here until until revelation. Hey, what's up, Poppy? So okay. Um, <laughs> I, I heard you guys talking shit about my Templars. Oh, 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 um, oh, 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 okay, okay, oh, 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 my Templars are better than your stupid assassins. Okay, can we just let Cass finish? Seriously. No. <laughs> this yeah, is taking that, another that, episode that, that, just for him no, to Cass, make a point that Cass, he was not Cass, able to make Cass the other Cass has vetoed time. his entire right to talk in this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. The whole pattern. Oh, oh, no, I will, podcast, I will, I will okay, fight guys, for guys, it. Guys, 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 Cass, can, Cass, continue. Okay. And what else? Um, his character flaws. He has none that I know of. Absolutely none. <clears throat> Fuck boy. Lady <clears throat> man, he was born in a silver spoon in his mouth. He is a one punch man. True. And the fact that his targets are portrayed as cookie cutting, mustache twirling, evil doers doesn't help at all. Yeah. I should make a rap. Well, I liked that. I liked how Cesare was just batshit insane. I actually wish we had more villains like that because it's so much fun. Cesare, I can understand. He's a pretty cool guy he's, but not he's cool. just batshit insane like you <laughs> he's, he's like the cool joker cesare i will cool burn my sister <laughs> by cool i mean like <laughs> okay yeah, I mean, he stabbed in the pregnant death. woman in the gut i know where he's going speaking speaking, speaking of cesare speaking of cesare i actually do have a few favorite templars actually uh okay. congratulations so cast continue on okay, please exactly <laughs> we're, we're next year right now we're yeah, you, keep going you. Like I said, he, ha he, he, he has no character flaws of my knowings. It makes him a robot, and, and I think he's really boring just because of that. Arno, on the other hand, which is my favorite, what I could tell, he's a sensitive guy that takes no shit. That's true. <laughs> yes, I could relate to him to some extent. <laughs> I <can't relate. laughs> Altair, he is, he's bold. He's focused in all that. And he went through a whole, like, yeah. journey to, like, figure out what is yeah. right for He him. went to, like, I'm not sure if it's he went through a let, let's, yeah. no, But let's, so let's speak. Hard. He went through a process, which yes, pretty yes. much you can see in most of the games, except in uh, the trilogy of Ezio and Syndicate, which is the change they make in the Zuringa story. They all change who they are from the beginning, and then at the end, they're someone different, completely different. Because I'll tell you, at first, was like an, let's say an, an asshole, asshole, pretty much. He was, he an, was an asshole. Ass. He was an arrogant dickhead. And then at the end, he he's just like this whole complete new person, you know? Yeah, he's the wise old man who has like no hate in his yeah. heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no one can piss him off. That's amazing. But the thing is, um, you don't Santa get to see that on SEO. Altair is my favorite. <laughs> Altair. Yeah. To be, to be honest, like speaking of Altair, I think Altair would be actually kick off. Well, he's actually kick ass because he's actually like the original assassin, and he actually developed yeah. his skills through oh. the Brotherhood himself. He's like, the original. Did you guys know he's six feet tall? What? Yeah. Did you, yeah. Did you, I didn't know, did you know that. I thought it was five. Which one? What? Altair. Who, who's six feet tall? tall? Did you know you can air assassinate in AC one? Yeah, yeah, you have to be like yeah. a very short distance. Yeah, but but uh, like I discovered this the other day and it blew my mind. Well, are <laughs> oh, you my serious? God. You did not know that? Wow. Okay. I, no, how would I have known that? Well, I so, thought you played the game. Like, okay. damn. <laughs> like, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> wow. Has okay, Cass just... even finished his rant yet? <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> no, he hasn't. Exactly. All right. I, I, guess, I can so tell he hasn't. Speak. My point is speak sign words. Okay, my point is with all the other assassins, they all have some sort of character in them. They are emotional, they're fucking dickheads. And you have Ezio <laughs> on the other hand, where he's just like perfect. Hi, I'm God. 
Oh, oh crap, Athens is starting to die. Walks, walk, walks, walks up to the Vatican Temple. Oh shit, who are you? Hi, I'm God. I'm a nerd. <laughs> no, but, that, that's right. But second point, I'm now, God. now that we're kind of we're kind of done with the SEO rant, like we just got the point out, which leads up to the characters, which not is... only that, not only not just only he has bad character flaws, the fucking community, okay. I've seen no, 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 so no. many Athen, people. Athen, 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 no, you do not want to go there. No, don't go there. I'm not go saying. I'm not gonna. Okay, fine. I'm just. I'm just saying. My life by dying. We have. We have friends in that community. Come on, <laughs> dude. Let's not. Get no, no, I'm. Not, I'm just saying. Not just our community. Like all over. Like people who have seen Assassin's Creed. They'd be like, Oh yeah, that's is the best. Well, do you know any other Assassin? Uh, uh, this one guy. Uh, his name is such and oh, a. I don't know. Uh, no. Arnold, Every, everyone, everyone, sh- D- everyone shits on my favorites. D- <laughs> Just best Connor. assassin is Connor, in my opinion. Yes, I think Connor would be the perfect re- representation of an assassin because here's what he had to do: he had to actually earn his robes and earn to be an assassin. And he he and had he to he had, had to, had to re- learn how he had to learn. What what I like about Connor is that. He's stubborn. Going back to what, going back to what Cass said about the silver spoon thing, how, like how Ezio was instantly an assassin. Yes. Con- Connor is like that, but done right. He, yes. He does. He's he an has, Indian. He's a native. Well, he has this. Philo- he has the philosophy from the very beginning. He has this need to just do good by everybody, to just have everyone yeah. free and equal. The and let's not forget. Is, the, the let's not forget. Is, sorry. Is that uh, the problem, yeah. Can I? <laughs> yeah, keep going. Uh, sorry. His, 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 main, his main struggle is the rest of the world telling him that he's wrong, that he's impossible, and it's kind of him learning to. Lear, it's kind of him just like going back and forth with himself. Like, do I trust myself or do I trust these people? How can I trust these people when I've done I these mean, things? It's kind of like him learning, uh, who like the way what the world is. The way yeah, I look at about Connor is like him versus the world because everyone's like telling him, "Yeah, yeah. You're, like you're wrong." Like, exactly. yeah, everyone's like, "You're wrong," or you have to, or you have to wait, or these things are complicated. When Con, like Including, the scene with a uh, the, the scene with a uh, Samuel Adams, like he's walking through a, what I think it was Boston, and mm-hmm. they were talking. They were talking about his slaves. They were talking about Adams's slaves, and Connor's like, "You know, dude, that ain't right. That's hypocrisy." And Adam's like, yeah. oh no, she's she's free, she's free on paper. We'll get to it eventually. Don't worry, these things are complicated. And Connor's like, no, that's bullshit. Because if you're going to talk freedom, you better give it to everybody. Yeah. And he, he just and, keeps getting shrugged off. And it's not just like them. It's including even his father that tell that goes and tell him, dude, your assassins are like wrong. Join me. Like that Darth Vader scene, like I'm your father. Don't be stupid, kid. Join the dark side. The dark side. I shot your boss yeah, but... in the foot. So, uh, like, dude, join me. I mean, that's pretty much the entire thing. In short words, I had a hate them rant. I had a, a hate hate them rant on the other podcast. I won't get then it. Then kill yourself. <laughs> kill yourself. Okay. <laughs> All right. To be honest, I love hate. No, no, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, let's not forget. Yeah. Let's not forget. Okay. Connor, he was actually a natural born fighter. Like he was raised in the woods. He knows how to yeah. hunt. Like he knows <laughs> how to do that shit. Yeah, you actually you actually learn that... by hit by him. Like he's a actually... natural fighter. He was raised in the backwoods of the <laughs> woodlands. He's one of them. No, I wrestled people. the bear with I wrestled the bear with my own fist. Dude, I I um, freaking like sixteen Connor was like holding like weapons yeah. and stuff. And at that age, Etsy was just getting laid. That's it. <laughs> he, 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 he was wielding, he, he was wielding a different kind of blade, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, a, a very oh, small, I mean, like a small one. Yeah. Oh snap! Connor's life is pretty sad. Oh boy. No, but then, but then they, ready, him, then they give him a dead daughter, daughter, and it's ha- and it's happy. And then I got sad again because then I remember what happened to his um, daughter in the earlier lore. I'm like, fuck you, Ubisoft, you bastards! That and, one bitch took his children to God knows where. His wife abandoned him. Yes, his wife his abandoned life. him, took the kids, and refused to tell him where they were going. Oh no! Yes, that's, and he that's died. Oh, yes, 
fuck the yeah. Fuck? This is why I wrote Anthem. This but, is why I wrote Anthem so I could give him a happy ending with his family and brotherhood. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> okay. Even um, his it's, it's pretty well made. Died. Okay, yeah. but let's be honest. I actually enjoyed reading it. Assassin's Creed DLC was complete bullshit. <laughs> the, 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 it was actually, the enjoy, I, wait, I actually enjoyed it. Wait, which game? Three. Oh, Assassin's Creed 3. You didn't like Tyranny of King Washington? Good, though. No, but, uh, I, it was hold on, hold on. bullshit. Why does no one like Tyranny of King Washington? <laughs> I actually liked it. I don't know what you're talking about. It was I interesting. Mean, I just, like it wasn't the best, yeah. but it was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. The only thing fun. that kind of um, like, Benedict, like, kind of Benedict, like, like, the Benedict like, Arnold DLC wasn't that good, but I still enjoyed. I playing. wanted more with the Benedict Arnold. I wish that they actually added in more of the Culper Ring into the whole entire AC3 story. I wish they actually touched on that a little bit more. Because that would have been cool. Yeah, but then it would have yeah. actually... Then I feel like if they had done that, it would have gotten too crowded. Like, everyone everyone says right now, oh, it was too crowded with all the events. Well, like, and I, I didn't think that. I thought it was the perfect thing. Like, you just yeah. you hit all you hit all the major events of the American Revolution. That's what you should do with an AC3. There you go. You hit all the Renaissance... You, you hit all the Renaissance events... Check by check. What's wrong with the American Revolution? Law? Yeah, true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, right. But, but what, what I think is really good that, about this is that, okay, now we have the comic, the new one that came out, I'm sure. Uh, we yes. have Rogue, which is what happened before. So through Rogue and, and AC2, we can see, like, okay, so, wait, about, uh, about Rogue. Rogue is actually one of the that. Rogue is actually I, one of the was, was, Am I the only one who was kind of disappointed we never got to fight the Aquila in Rogue? Yeah, yeah. Cause like in I want to know because, like, in the database, it says that the Templars nearly sank the Aquila in like yeah. uh, 1760 or something, which is right after they got the thing. Right after it, Con- when was Connor born? born? Like, Connor was born in 1746. It I was really hoping we would be able to save Connor from the flames. Like, I know they just use a random character model for the guy who dragged Connor away from the from Zeo. But I was really hoping we could, like, go to the village and, like, they would retcon it so that it was Shay who, who pulled Connor out of the flames. Oh. Uh, to be honest, no, that was... Do you think... It, I'm just I'm just thinking out loud here. Do you think Ubisoft will be able to have, like, a cross-mix between Arno and Connor? Because they live in the same time period, except they're just it's a few fun. ages apart. I, 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 I have no. something like... I have something like that. It's called Anthem. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, like, I'm mean, something from Ubisoft, not, like, fan fiction, but, yeah, I know where you're trying to go here, uh, Carter. I know what you're trying to say. I'm just saying. I don't Anthem think was gonna... born out of the realization that Ubisoft will never give us closure with these characters. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least you're doing your part. <laughs> exactly. There you I, go. I've done my community good. <laughs> there you I don't go. think we're ever going to get closure. Like, that's what the comics are for, I think. Like, give us closure. But the comics suck ass, except for reflections. <laughs> I mean, not all the comics. Have you guys been? Ass. Have you guys been reading Uprising? Uh, I haven't. Mm. Nope. Like the it, Uprising's all right. Like it's not the best, but they're finally starting to like bring in the the instruments of the first will and like Juno. So it's like the Templars and assassins are kind of like up against the first they're trying to solve this big mystery involving juno on each side and it seems like they're the way it seems like it's going it sounds like they're planning to have the assassins and templars Tony. team up temporarily please just no. to stop juno please no please no please no yes no yes no that's what it's yes. that's what it sounds like Bobby, it's gonna happen going if that happens i'm gonna give up like i give up why? Why? That because Why? Why? I don't, I don't like it. Like they're complete opposites, and yeah. Well, yeah, but when you ha- when you're up against friend, Ju- but... when you're up against Juno, nothing unites people better than a common enemy. And when you're up against Juno, just... Juno's like a god, technically. Who wants who wants all who wants all of you dead, or either enslaved or dead? I feel like you can't. Isn't you kind of have to team like, up with your enemy. It's gonna be too cliche that. They're together, like, oh, we have a common enemy. Let's join, because that's never been done before. Well, just let's, like, what I think should happen is, yeah, they both want to beat Juno, but they want to do it their way. 
It's like a. That's not threat. what it's sounding like to me. It's not like Otto Berg is the black. Be back. Otto Berg is the black cross, and he he seems like. Because yeah. literally in the last issue, the the most recent issue they put out, it ends with uh the stupid ass Charlotte de, de la Cruz, whatever her name is. <coughs> Bless you. It, it, it ends I with coughed, her saying, but thank you." Like coming out of this this Juno trap in the Animus, and it comes out with her saying, "We need to warn the Templars because something big oh. is going down." No, that's what. It, that, that's no. how. It I'm actually, actually. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna regret regret asking this, but. Uh oh. BP. Yeah. Why do you hate the assassins so much? Okay, first I am a creature of order. I always like. I just. I think that like but the Templars the are. Dude, but I always love how the Templars. Like. They believe in order. They just want to have one, like one world government. Like, they want. It, they both have the heart at the same place, but they don't want it done at the same, like the same way. Like, yeah, I just love the the, I, the, ass, the that, assassins. Okay. The assassins are compassionate anarchists. Think. The Templars are benevolent dictators. Yeah, I'm an assassin. Don't get me I'm wrong. Full. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I don't hate the assassins, but I just love the Templars more. He, he like because he likes their uh, he I likes their ideas more important. than uh, the Assassin Brotherhood. Yeah. Okay. So the thing is, so, so 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 just just long story short, a uh, father uh, uh, likes the what the Templars do instead of the Assassins because he. I think he uh, prefers what the Templars do instead of the Assassins, which is fine, I guess. Depends the, on what you do. Assassin. I believe like the the Templars are way more organized than the Assassins. Hello, the Assassins. exactly. So yeah. well, yeah. An- ancient Rome was way more organized than the Celtics. That doesn't give them the right to rape them all. <laughs> doesn't mean. make them any better. Yeah, everything has their flaws. That I don't agree one hundred percent the way the Templars do everything. The, uh, True. The, uh, well, I mean, I don't agree 100% not... with how the assassins do some things. Yeah, like like Rogue, like remember when uh, when Shay had to go to Lisbon, but instead uh, Achilles, Achilles, okay, to be honest, Achilles, no, he, he plays in a part of Achilles. He's a, he's a dick. He's a dick. He's a, like, he's a piece of shit, but until, until he, like... He, he had five lines. <laughs> he had five lines, but still, like... Achilles didn't understand about these precursor sites. He thought they were like relics and stuff, you know, to keep away from the Templars. He thought it wasn't. A... No, if you if you go up to Achilles' room, it actually show there's a big uh, whiteboard or not a whiteboard, up uh, whatever the what the thumbtacks is, whatever that equivalent yeah. is, with a shit ton of notes on it, and it has all these like, like you can outline his plan. He thinks there's an apple there. That's what he's. All of his That's sources what... told him there. All of his sources have told him there's an apple here. We have to go get it. Yeah. Nobody survived. Nobody survived to tell him that's not an apple. This is an er- this, and everyone just thought it was an earthquake. That is not and his sh- fault. And sh- and sh- but but Shay Shay figured it out, and I think, and he didn't. Shay like, figured didn't it tell out. Them. But he wasn't. He figured it out he after just, well, he went and got there. In the yeah. way that, but the way that Shay. Yeah. I mean, the way that Shay told him was in yeah. anger. Yeah, all he did because was he thought rushing. that. Yeah, to all he on, did to was be honest, come. She, all, to be honest, all Shay did was come rushing and saying, "It was your fault. It was your fault. What was our fault? The earthquake. A human can't cause an earthquake. Well, fuck you. Yes, you can. We're doing yeah. this. What are we messing with? Well, that thing. You should know. I don't know. That's why we're asking you. Fuck you. Yeah, he you. never. He never specifically stated what exactly happened to to Achilles. All he said was, "It's all your fault." He, he, all these yeah, people he just died. Assumed, he never he assumed, said anything. He assumed that they did know. Which, by the way, here's a question. How is it that you ha- can go out? How long was that ship ride from America to Portugal well, again? It, it, it's probably like two to three months. Two to three months. H- how many? How long? Never once calmed down. <laughs> yeah. Like never once how, do you, how do you stew for three months and then come back and just go I, like, it's I, all your fault. You I, I just, killed all these people. I, I, lo- I love to imagine Shay just like pilot at the at the wheel of the Morrigan just going. <laughs> and like his crew kind of like just like backs away. Like, oh, sure. Like, Cap- like Captain, you okay? Fucking. 
shit. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> the I'm, I'm the like entire right ride. now checking the comments. Um, which one's like the actual one? Sorry to interrupt. What? Like, I'm right now like checking the comments. Which one's like the actual like? What do you ongoing mean? One? Which one's the, the, the one, one? The one that's happening right now. That's uprising. Uprising. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the, it's a it's a it's a sequel to uh, the Assassin comics and the Templar comics. Okay. All right. That, I'm, which sucked I ass, I, by the I, way. I, I hated I hated the I hated the Assassin Templar the uh, Titan comics ones. Oh yeah, uh, I, I saw that. Yeah. Because they were boring. The characters were bland. The story was all over the place. It one of the. One of the co the Templar comics ends with like the big reveal of a of a sh of a sage. He's like sipping wine in the background, like looking over the burning city. Like, yes, I was the one pulling the strings all along. The next comic, Yo, someone just shoot, he just sh he just shows up and they shoot him dead. You don't learn his <laughs> name. You just know he, you don't even know what he did. He just is a sage that they kill. Well, like, today, what was we the point of having him be a Frank. sage? Like today, like I'm reading it just now. Like, uh, Re Refle reflections. They just they just put out the last issue of reflections. Reflections is good. Reflections is just like little slices of life. Yeah, like right, like right now, I just like sat in my computer, and apparently today we had the issue number five. Of well, Uprising. don't don't spoil it for me, then. <laughs> Do you want to read right, it? All right, all right. I can give you a place you can read it though. All right. Um, no, it's uh, fine. BP, send me it. Send me it, please. Okay, now, um, <laughs> okay, what I'll I want to say is... Um, I'll send you a link. It's... Art. It's good. It looks interesting. It's arc two. Yeah. It's the beginning the of arc is, two. I'll, I'll just reread re everything, so it's... I, I like having everything fluent. <laughs> but as so, I was saying is... Um, I'll send, I'll, I can say the link right now. It's called readcomiconline.to. You can find all, right. all the comics there. This is not hashtag sponsored, by the way. It's, oh, yeah. it's, it's just <laughs> not sponsored. Yeah. Okay, okay, guys, um, we're good. We're getting paid now. Castillo is sponsoring our podcast. <laughs> Thank you, Cass. Yeah. <laughs> this episode no, is sponsored by the letter Cass. <laughs> letter? <laughs> the letter Cass? Yeah, the letter Cass. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> right. These are the jokes. This episode is sponsored. <laughs> yeah. But what I... What I mean about what's really good about the series is we are seeing all these memories, right? But we're not seeing yeah. exactly the truth. We're seeing what the assassin believed and what he saw. Yeah. So we're not sure. Eh, when Ezio saw him, we're not 100% sure this guy's a maniac. We're just seeing what he saw, what he thought of him, um, you know? Same thing with every single other assassin. Well, of course, we saw the world how it was. But at the same time, we saw what they saw, you know? Yeah, that's and why I love Rogue, because for the first time, we can see the world. Through exactly. In Rogue, you can see, like... So you're, so you're saying that like, Cesare did not just go up and stab that pregnant woman? Well, I'm not saying that, though. Wait, no, that's <laughs> bullshit, saying... because... They, Dude, that's bullshit, I, because Haytham, the entire novel is his journal. And all the same shit happened in his journal, so it's not just... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that is but, true. That so is it's true. not it's it's not just his their perspectives because yeah. if that were the case, Hatham would have made all the Templars just absolute heroes. Exactly, but that, know, that's, that's the thing, because so it's not there. It's legit just a simulation of what happened. Yeah, of, of yeah. what happened. But at the same time, what I'm explaining is that we're seeing what they believe, what they saw too. You know, so by example, uh, um, Arno didn't see Shade because he didn't remember him during the entire whole thing. That's in the memory. We didn't see him uh, until we are in Shay's memory, of course. But um, in the actual memory in Rogue, you can see Shay just walk right past him. You can see him with Elise. And you can see Arno when he's pulled, the windows are open, everything's different. But at the same time, you know, like in both games, I well, can yeah, but, but those you know, don't line, two different but the engines. dialogues don't exactly line up the same way they do. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's true so I don't, too. I don't think that's real. I don't think that's fully fair to say, since like, because yeah. like in uh, Rogue, in Rogue you have like a five minute span between he walking by the kids and killing the dad. 
Whereas in Unity, it's instant. Like they, like Arno and Elise, they hide behind the thing. They're like, oh, I'm Arno, I'm Elise. And then immediately after, the guards are running to save the dad. So I don't think that's fully yeah. fair. To say. Exactly, but the thing is that we see it differently in both games. That's what I, I'm trying to say. Um, and we are not... Like, maybe the Unity perspective is the right one, or maybe it's not, because, of course, Arno was just a kid. But when they grow up, you know, you can see the, the whole real thing, like what the real revolution was. Uh, I, um, I just feel like that's kind of, I just feel like that's kind of a cop out answer. Like that's the kind of thing Ubisoft would say. Where it's like uh, just to like pass <laughs> off a retcon, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but um, the thing is that this is where I I get to finally say like I, one... like I get I get what you're saying, but I'm just I like I'm yeah. just saying that seems like almost too easy an answer. Yeah. Yeah, but and and the thing is that I, I'm not saying it's exactly 100 percent that I'm just saying it's certain parts. right right because of course Hayden writes everything in his journal of course I cried as hell and when Hayden died because oh I was cheering my ass off when Hayden died uh, I, 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 you I sir <laughs> are a bad person Hayden was right, the thing is, don't care Hayden was so was Hayden what hurt me the most was pretty much um, oh. okay we may not have agreed on everything but. I'm really proud of what you become, actually. Wow. That's what. Oh my God. I still should. I still. I still should have killed you, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have killed you a long time I ago. Did. Shot you. Dead. I still should have killed you. <laughs> Fuck you. The the only thing that oh, shit. really bothered me from that whole thing was the fact that it was a son killing his father. Yeah. Like it's, just the yeah. you just imagine what could have been different if Hatham actually decided to stop. Well, well, then then we would not have AC three because Desmond would not have been born. True. <laughs> True. We don't have anything. No, but, um, and there would oh. be no Desmond. But the thing is, if I, Hatham... mean, I... Oh, sorry. I mean, I just like if Hatham decided to. When 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 Connor was trying to change Hatham over to the assassin mindset and everything, if what like what would have happened I... if he actually did? I like Hatham as a. I like Hatham from a writing standpoint. I like the tragic. I like the analysis of Hatham, as like a tragic hero kind of guy. But him, he himself, I hate because he just got so goddamn corrupt by the end of his story. Yeah. That's it, that's the thing though, exactly the corruption. Um, same thing we see happening to Belek, whatever in well, Ace Unity. The difference with that is though Belek just assumed he was right. He just believed he was okay. better than everyone. Haytham, in his journal, is constantly talking about, am I a bad person? Am I a bad person? I should I should stop be do I should stop doing this stuff. I should maybe make yeah. peace. I wonder why the assassins don't like us. Maybe it's because we just, we just eliminated them all from the continent. Yeah. I mean But he never changes. He never makes an effort. And that's why I hate Haytham so that's why Forsaken, as good of a book as it is, Annoyed to, me to, so much. To be fair, though, Hatham is was well. To be honest, he was trying to come to a conclusion. Be like, "What is wrong with me? What am I doing? Is this right?" But, you know what I mean. He, but words only take you so far, though. They take you so far. they take you so far. They take you so far, but it gets you interested and be like, "What's going on? Is he actually trying to do something for once?" Yeah, but like but it gets you thinking. He, but then he does it, and you feel this emptiness, like, "Oh, I." guess that he wasn't going to change his ways i guess he was just gonna turn into that same person oh. that what i i guess you can i guess you can make the argument that him letting connor kill him because it says he was hold. it says he planned to hold back when connor came to kill him in, in the novel it's it says like uh even connor's like yeah i knew he was holding back i knew he couldn't bring himself to do it to his own son and the thing is that I guess Connor wrote uh, next to the picture of Hayton, I made a mistake. That that is so. That is that that is true, but that's more of Connor's. That's more of Connor's yeah, Connor struggle, not Hayton. Yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> we're not as far away from the end, but we're getting close to the end. So uh, BP. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, do you think there is anything we should talk about uh, the amino community wise? Uh, I oh. have, so I actually have something in mind, actually. Oh, please share. Okay, so, <clears throat> so, 
Oh, I'm a little nervous saying this, okay? Because, you know, I'm trying to, like, speak out, get I'm my voice out there. <laughs> community orgy. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> what I was thinking we should do is, um... If I hear the word ball, <laughs> I am going to leave. <laughs> okay, so what I was thinking what we can do in the community, all right? This yeah. is me talking. This is Athen talking right now. Yeah. Is if we all had different, not different, but like what me and Aiden did back in iFunny, our iFunny times, okay? iFunny days. I, please, <laughs> let's we not both talk about iFunny. Get on with it. No, 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 no. Hear me out. We both did something. We both did like a brotherhood thing to recruit people and to make them better, you know, to get them better at role play, you know, to give them a part in the community, you know what I mean? To make yeah. them feel welcome, you know what I mean? Yeah. So what me and Aiden did, we recruited people, okay, people, like people who wanted to join, like if they were interested, we would make like banners or posters or something like that, you know, some artwork, and then we so would post like, like, so you want to make clans, you want to make clans. So like, like, like a clan. Sex. Like, you want to like make different brotherhoods is what you're talking about. Like different brotherhoods, yeah, that's what I meant. Like, like the I mean, American like, Brotherhood or Romanian Brotherhood. I can have like my, I can have my yeah. Templar though. So. I, I was actually yeah. talking that with Hydra because I wanted to kind of make that like a whole community thing. You remember when I funny happened when I did the whole join the brotherhood, yeah. brotherhood yeah. thing? Well, I was gonna yeah. do one for Hydra, her Siphonic OC, which is um, uh, in. 1820s around that time period. Yeah, failing, failing. And she, she, she is like a heavy. Okay, uh, she's just a heavy ass Templar. That's the word I'm looking for. But of course, her background leads to why they hate the Templar. So I mean, the assassins so much. Sorry, I have Templar in my head. And I was gonna make the whole join the order, but with her, with her character, for her to post uh, it and see like what reaction would have. Yeah. Like if people would be le led more into the Templars or. Yeah. No, so technically, like so technically, yes. So like Aiden was saying, like Father, you can like do your thing for Templars and Carter. You can oh, do shit, your thing shit, for. Shit, shit. Fuck, can I be, the, you want. Can I be the, the mentor of the Hoosier assassins? <laughs> yes, you may. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. you may. But you gotta have you gotta have people join you in order for that. Well, to well, that, well so it's gonna be again, people that So be prepared. Be prepared. Be Wait, prepared. Guys, guys, guys. Huh. So it's it's gonna be. Four leaders and five curators versus me. Uh, <laughs> mm, well, Hydra, it's not temp. Uh, it's not assassin, so it'll be. And so she can well, be on your team. <laughs> yes. But but anywho, but anywho, um. It does sound okay. like a pretty interesting idea. Yeah, yeah, like, 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 get people more engaged. Be like, okay, give them a purpose in the community. Like, have them serve. Like, what do they want to be more? I, and not, be a Mary or, too, like or, many other people in the community. Uh, I, I'm so, okay. I, I, let's not. Let's not. I no, really. Cast. I really want. Hey, I want I'm somebody not giving out names. I'm not <laughs> pointing I, out I, names. If we, okay. If okay, we do guys, that, I'm really excited for I mean, somebody to come in saying they're the instruments of the first will. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I am an instrument of the first world. I was Jesus. sent by Judah. Neptune is active. <laughs> anywho, anywho, as I was saying, as I was saying, okay, um, we all have our different brotherhoods or, you know, orders, right? Yes. And we get people more engaged. And we should, and also, we should also do this. We should do faction, like, you know, wars or something like that. Not, not faction wars, but like... Like uh, like the assassins and the Templars against each other. See who wants, see which side is better. People will we'll vote who, on that. We'll see who can who can collect the most kingdom flags. <laughs> yeah. Do no. Let's, um, <laughs> Let, let's slow stuff down though, because we don't want to just create a rivalry in the amino and then. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no rivalry. rivalry. Right. That I mean, this is, this is. I mean, this, this is. This is an idea beautiful. in the works. So. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be pretty it, cool. Because, but like, if we, it's if an we, idea if we do it, if we do it right, it would be a really good idea. It yes. would. And yeah. I, uh, yeah, we because, can keep that in mind. For, first, we start. My, we start small, though. We do like a little registration yeah. thing, like a poster or banner, be like, join the brother or join the oh, order or something like that. You know. Yeah. And then have and if they have the thing is, if they have an artistic ability like us yeah. or. Yeah, some of us. Then yeah, I'm not an they can join their own OC. But if they yeah. don't, you can help them out and there's stuff there's like this, that. Yeah. Have you guys um, seen this uh this one fan artist who the uh 
I can't remember her name, but she has like the 1920s OCs. Mm -hmm. She she does all the all the Detroit stuff. Yeah. I can't remember. She has a post. She actually has a poster like that where it's like her OC. It's like a 1920s like, uh, dance club looking thing, like a yeah. like the kind of thing you would see outside of a out of a 1920s. It says like, look. It's like looking for a chance to make a difference. Come, uh, ask for Arlie or something like that. Before you guys uh, ask, yeah. yes, I am playing. A like, <laughs> that's why. That's why it's so. Yeah, loud. but um. Nice. What I wanted to explain was that we have to be careful. We have, to, yeah, like Athens said, we need to uh, start with small steps because, right? Um, uh, okay, there's other amino acids. Um, there's three different fractions. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Knights, samurai, Vikings. Yeah. We have a problem there. Uh, there's a huge separation. Right? Yeah, huge. Because people are like, we hate Vikings. We hate samurai. We see one, we'll jump him. Yeah, that's the problem. And. Like for it, the longest it, time, I've been trying to fix. It's got to be regulated really well. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we don't want right. like, small cost, steps. like pooling and stuff between them. Yeah, right. yeah. That's to avoid thing. any, to avoid like any beef between people. Let's start small. Like be like, let people join what they want. You know what I mean? Let, 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 us, get know, let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, because boy. um, like, you like think in, it's a good idea. Um, okay. Do you think it's a good idea to tell Bobby sucks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, th this is this is Athens' idea. Just saying, me. I'm I don't. If, any, if anything, if anything goes wrong, you can blame it on Athens. It. Yeah, you can blame it. Yeah, blame it. Blame this on Athens. If anything goes wrong, it yeah. all goes back I'll, to. I'll Athen. take all the blame. You don't know. I hate as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact. If if anything goes wrong, we're not gonna we're not gonna kick him from the community. We're just gonna wait and see how long he can take the hate before he caves in. And once he caves okay. in, we'll only give him a strike, and that's it. We'll not kick him out at all. Come on. <laughs> okay, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Oh, okay. It is a joke. Now back back to. Yeah, well, we're um, not we're not that mean in reality. I swear. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I am that mean though. Oh, <laughs> of course okay. you are. So, the thing is, um, who are you? Yeah, baby step. Um, oh, wow. like, yeah. back then, I, I feel like I had my brotherhood, Athen had his, um, Castillo now can make his own, too, because he is mentor. He and, is mentor uh, now. Yeah, yeah, he is mentor now. So he can make his own, you know, it's like certain ranks we have. Uh, of course, with Lobby, uh, 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 BP, they can also make their orders to brotherhood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna if I, order. I'm gonna be a full-on Templar, like, that's, oh yeah. Well, it's <laughs> called the Templar Order. Yeah, yeah Templar gonna, Order. My bad. My bad. I am the father of understanding. And there's so. and there's and there's the 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 different rights for the Templar Order. Like there's a colonial right for the Templar Order. Yeah, I'll have you know, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So you have. The, uh, uh, I'm uh, gonna be if if we are gonna do this, I am gonna be the only wild card. Just saying. <laughs> well, we, we also have Rogue. Though. Are you yeah, Juno? No, I'm Jason. <laughs> I'm Batman. <Batman. laughs> I think Batman. the walk on will be rogue when we're like doing stuff and he'll be like appear in the middle of everything. Hey guys, and he just fucks the shit up. <laughs> guys, can you stop doing this? Okay, okay, okay. You can... You're getting yeah, blood on nice. my front lawn. <laughs> guys, <laughs> damn, I, kids. I thought it was salt and I could die. Did you play no, I... that I weapon? Did you I do like I did. I do like that idea, and I think we've, I think we've had that. Somebody, I think Athen, you brought up that idea a while ago as well, and we just never moved on it. Actually, what, what, we which like, idea? Which idea? About this, I wanted to like talk about the idea. I was talking to you guys about my, um, uh, my great challenge. Uh. Yeah, I think we should talk about that. Uh, which one? All right, yeah, yeah, because okay. I, because original, I mean, originally I did want this to be like sort of an announcement part of it as well, but yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll go through yeah. this too. I'll talk about um, it. Um, okay, go ahead. Um, you might wanna you might wanna mute your TV or pause it for a second while you're you explain this stuff. Yeah, it's it's not my TV, it's my computer. Remember, I'm a PC master. Whatever. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Well, guys, <laughs> you probably know me. If you don't, I am the father of understanding, your rightful ruler. And uh, uh, I'm, talking, no. I'm, talk, I'm talking. Well, I went to tell you guys about an idea. If he having... disappears tomorrow, it's all because I did something to him. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah, Aiden or Red. Probably, Aiden can probably kill me. He like lives like a few minutes away from my house, probably. Anyway, um, I want to talk to you guys about uh, an idea I was having with the leaders, and I was in the comments. Leave your feedback. 
Um, I want to tell you guys, what do you guys think about if we made a monthly challenge, it's a constant challenge, don't get me wrong, where, where each month um, you guys can submit videos, images. I wanted to include, because that's something I got, that a lot of people in the community, even though we have a huge part of artists, there are some people that are not that good of an artist. So we want to include everyone to make videos, songs, um, stories, whatever. And the yeah. winner, the winner of the contest will get a title. Anyway, the winner of the contest will get the title i don't know if it's july you'll get mr july or assassin of july a, a title and also with the title you get featured for the whole month like your work will be featured for the month so it will be like a monthly challenge so in july will be this theme and in august will be this theme oh that's eventually. actually a pretty cool idea yeah that's a really great idea and yeah. eventually i'm gonna make a, <laughs> like an official post telling you guys how it's gonna work but I want, like, this is a preview. And, yeah, I wanted you guys can, to know. Can the, can the first thing be Juno month? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. No, I'm, no, no. just kill yourself. <laughs> Please kill yourself. But death is against the rules. It is. Oh, okay. Enough suicide. No, no, okay. We should have did All that. Right. It's actually quite stupid. We can't do stuff that you kill somebody. Yeah, right, so... no, but it is a great idea. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. a very good idea. But um, yeah, it's a really good idea. So you'll Bobby be, you'll be, yeah, you'll be making a post about that um soon, soon right? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. have time. Yeah, I'm like for all, for all the all those people who don't like our weekly challenges, which I know is like a lot of people. So yeah, I've done I've done them actually, like the Egyptian one and the uh and the uh, what you call it and yeah, the. Well, uh, and the beach week well, one. Now, and the... Well, now there's gonna be we're gonna be moving back to the monthly challenges. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Be... Like, we, we gotta we, let we gotta let Aji know that too. We heard yeah, you we'll guys because yeah, we, just... we have to let her know. So yeah, no um, unexpected I... surprises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like oh, that's something I want to tell you, like the community. If you have any idea to tell us, just go ahead. We... I don't bite. Bob's Bob, Bobby bites, but I don't. Wrong. <laughs> that is totally wrong. As a matter of fact, you got this messed up. I don't bite. You like to take a full chomp out of everything. But that, that is, is it. The, the only one, the only Bob, one of us that will Bob, murder you Bobby, is Brad. Bobby doesn't bite. Anyway, so uh, at least I don't go around swinging the band hammer. I love you, Ran. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't kill Anyways, me. so before before this whole thing, before before I have to wrap this up because we are about to go over, um, there is going to be a, another announcement coming very soon. Um, I don't know when exactly I'm going to make it, but there is a project in the works that we have. Um, oh, yeah. And to give just give a little preview, it does involve a couple other Aminos. So, <laughs> so that's all I'm going to that's all I'm going to say right now. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that. But just basically, there's going to be a lot more Aminos involved with a certain project that we're working on right now. So yeah, to, it's yeah, top secret, so we that. can't say. Yeah, there, this, it's, it is, it's top secret. Just so you guys right know, if it, if it goes wrong, it's all Blobby's fault. This time, it's not yeah, mine. it's, it's, it's all Blobby's fault. He, yeah. he will revoke his status of leader of the Amino. If, it, if it's uh, not, we give it to, uh, Hayden. we, the general. Aiden. Hey, general hey, rule, hey, general hey. rule of dead word. If it's not Haven's fault, it it is, but it's it's probably Juno's fault too. <laughs> okay. But uh, other than that, uh, so yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That was, that's basically another. What one one of these guys? And by the way, if you're a YouTuber and like wish like participate in like the podcast, that's stuff, me. <laughs> Dude, you suck as a YouTuber. Oh wait, shit! We have to give we have to give shout outs to Jin and Red and uh. Oh yeah, and all that. <laughs> we have, yeah, yeah. Our, 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 yeah, our she, friend, she our friends, our friends, uh, yeah, our friends, uh, Jin French. Uh, her name is French, French Fry on there. We call her Jin. She's awesome. Go give her love. Same with uh, Red. Is it Nut Nudson? Yeah, Nudson. I think. So so mine, I'm yeah. I'm sorry to both of you. <laughs> yeah, we're. And then our friend yeah. and our friend Andrew who. Is constantly changing his name, so I'm not even gonna try. Let's 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 just go down the list right now. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, also one more. Right. Can I can let's I sing a musical number about it? Can I can I make an announcement real quick, please? Why? Well, I what? Guess so. It's it's gonna be real quick. Don't <laughs> no. worry. Oh. 
Uh, this is Athens speaking. Uh, I will be doing art requests yeah, soon, so keep uh, keep in touch with uh, keep in touch with me if you want. Everybody, just spam Athen. Just spam oh, Athen. That is that is I, a community wide order. order. I'm going He's to make a broadcast so, about it selfish, today, promoting right here, bastard. right Fuck. now. Athen hey, I just, I just want to has to receive Carter. about 150 requests by the end of today, and if he does not get 150 requests by the end of today, <laughs> then I am. Destroying the entire community. I'm gonna burn it all. Give, give him, give him, give him requests that have to be done tomorrow. Um, like everybody, just tomorrow. Have, like de- this podcast is gonna to be mo- coming out. This podcast is coming out on Friday. So on Saturday, Friday. if he does, S- come on, shut up. He, tomorrow, 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 shut up. Friday. If weekly, weekly, this is coming out tomorrow. No, <laughs> but. But today, oh, it's yeah, even even though from there, we're I about am to in control we're about to, we're about to end of the, the podcast. podcast. <laughs> oh, I am in control. You are not. No. It comes out tomorrow, <laughs> every Friday, as I was saying. Anywho, um, so, so yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing requests. I'll be doing two to three requests at a time. So if you are interested, go to my page and comment a number. And I will do a n- random number generator. The three people who are closest to the number that gets picked out will be selected for this raffle uh, for this art request. Where are you okay. going? Okay. <laughs> there you go. Carter wins. <laughs> 69. Uh, so, yeah. Carter wins. Um, <laughs> you're, giving, you're giving out free blowjobs. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, <laughs> It's about time to wrap things up. If uh, anybody has in the community who's watching this, if you have any question for us that you want us to answer, um, we, we're wanting to put in a segment where we answer community questions or anything like that. Leave yeah, it either in the that's what you said last the, time. I know, but nobody did it. Please leave a comment in the amino post or on this video if you want to. But with that being said, uh, we have reached the end, which is very long now. Um, <laughs> so we've, we've reached the point. It's time for you so, all to die. <laughs> we have reached the I omega. Find so I find I find it we, hilarious that before I I started speaking, it was really boring. You guys were like just talking. Now it's actually oh yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> so la- beforehand we were talking, and now we're talking with enthusiasm. That's thank you very much. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's me. It's me. Anyways, yeah, so, we, still ha- we still haven't done our, our, our impressions of each other for my friend. <laughs> Whatever, we're doing that next time. So uh, anyways. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Uh, 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 sorry uh, 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 my name is Blobby. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm Irish. Uh. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, my name is Blobby and all these stupid people were oh, yeah, yeah, left early, awesome. so sorry. Re- re- remember, <laughs> remember to send Blobby remember, tons of remember, we man milk. Hope, <clears throat> we, hope, we, man we milk. hope you enjoy. Drink your vitamins, um, okay? If you, if you have any, <laughs> it, any porn to send me, send it to <laughs> 3054 <laughs> inbox. Um, my, my P.O. box is 12345 Assassin Lane. Um, make sure okay, I'm back. I'm back. I, it I includes I at least <laughs> Some gorillas, <laughs> and then that's it. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and, I'll, and we'll and we'll see you later. Bye bye. No, I just I, I just came Hasta back. La vista. No, five minutes.